Today's game comes to you from Gongai Games. Now that we have a release date for Covert Missions, pre-orders are now officially open. As always, don't forget code COMMANDO10 at checkout for more extra savings combined with their free shipping on 25 or more for significant total savings. This year, for the first time, introducing the Gongai set, a traditional Saga-style set, at 325 with the COMMANDO10 discount puts it below many competitors' pricing. Be sure to check them out at gongai.com. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome to Dice Commando for round 3 coverage of today's standard tournament here at Gongai Games in Portland, Oregon, USA. On our left we have Derek, he's playing the Ewoks, the Hot Trooper Ewoks. And on our right we have Nathaniel, we saw take down the last round, playing trusty old Raylo. This will be a very interesting match uh, with the shield generation. Um, I'm not actually sure who's going to pull this off. So alright, Derek rolls, he gets a 1, Raylo gets a 2. One of these days Derek claims he's going to win. So Alright, so two shields will go well he's has to make the choice but i assume he takes the shields and then he has to take two indirect from preemptive strike yep so he's gonna take the arena and then two indirect get dealt so i'm sure he'll take one shield off and then put a damage into ray and then uh, Derek will get us started. Probably takes that shield off Kylo. Whoa, guys. Uh, uh, <laughs> target acquired on Ray. All right, well, that was a huge mistake because Derek should have gone first. But <laughs> uh, So he opens with the target acquired. He should open with his Hoth Trooper. All right, there's power action, move over a shield, and go after the little Ewok on the end there. There's the Hoth Trooper coming in, dealing one damage to Ray, taking off the shield. Nathaniel rolling in Kylo here. There won't be a whole lot of shield blocking, at least early. Uh-oh, did he just walk into a Pickens? He did not, so one into Ray. Power action ray to go to the two damage. Yep, intelligently goes with the wounded one before he goes down. Okay, one more into ray. Yep, kill the Ewok. Just gonna try and slice and dice through him. One more into ray. Ray will come in here, I would assume. Okay, goes one into one of the, actually the only standing Ewok, but now he's not standing anymore with one more into Ray. Wait, what just happened? All right, Nathaniel's action here. I'm not really sure what's going on with these guys here. All right, there's one for ammo reserves. Back to Nathaniel here. Takes the resource. I, I see a polarity in his hand, so there's one more indirect coming across the table. Puts Ray at six with five health remaining. Yep, there's a polarity, so he'll send one into the wounded Ewok and then put a shield on Ray. And then with ambush, he'll kill the Ewok. Yep. We still have Chirpa standing over there. Also, he has the arena. So the arena, of course, he can deal himself an indirect to deal an unblockable to an opponent's character. Yep, so that's what he's going to do, actually. He's going to claim. Okay, so he goes one into Chirpa, and then one under the shield. Four health remaining. No reason for him not to drop and reroll like a champ here. Right, so discards the reroll, looking for a special or a two, gets his special, so he'll put two more into. Doesn't really matter at this point. Yep, the front Ewok, alright. And that'll end his round, I would think. Alright, so Derek just down, discards down one. We'll draw up. These guys will take their resources, and then we'll go into the next round. 
So not a bad showing uh, with Raylo there. But uh, if Derek gets some inflict pain, thing can get real ugly. All right, so there's one into Ray, taking the shield off. Yep, there's a polarity. I like it. So he'll be able to put that Ewok down, actually. So we'll go one into the front Ewok, I'm sure. Oh, but he gave the shield to Ray. Oh. If he'd given it to Kylo, he could have just power action over this ambush drop in that Ewok. Ah, but he had a plan. So there's a steadfast, so he'll move over. Nicely done, sir. All right, there's one. Takes off the shield. Back to Nathaniel here. All right, rolls in Ray. A shield in the blank. Derek's going to start running out of gas here, actually. He's still got a couple. He's got at least he has two turns left on his ammo reserves. He has two resources. It is his action. He's pausing to think here. All right, here comes Chirpa with the disrupt. No good for him right now. Rolling Kylo, I think. Oh, discards a re-roll. Blank and a blank. Does he get picked? Nope. One more into Ray with the ammo reserves. Here comes Kylo. That's how you get her done. That's how you get her done. He has plenty of cards to re-roll here as well. Oh, in circle, spot three exhausted characters. Remove all character dice. That's, uh, they just took the cross guard and not Kylo. So the cross guard should be in and not Kylo. There'll be a one damage difference. There we go. There we go. You got a hit, Nathaniel. So he goes into the Hoth Trooper. I like taking the Ewok off the table here. Um, but I see why he's doing that. Chirpa's special is off, so the Ewok doesn't matter hugely. But All right, so the indirect went on to Chirpa, and then one more into Ray. Ray only has three health remaining. He's going to be able to put two in pretty easy here. I think Nathaniel's in good position here. Yep, so there's one to Ray, nine health, or nine hit, nine damage, two health remaining. All right, there's the Steadfast. Move one to the Hoth Trooper. Raylo might be able to pull this out. We have not seen any glider attacks as a prop. Oh, there we go. Speaking of, so that's three, or he can spend a resource to negate, but then he'll just take it on the ammo reserve. So, okay. So he does spend the one. And then he'll get one action here. But I don't think he's going to be able to save her because that ammo reserve is just going to drop her. So. Yeah, so he just rolls in Kylo, saves the action. Yep. If Derek doesn't do anything, he can potentially get the, Ky the Ray power action to flip Kylo. But I don't think Derek's going to let that fly. Dude, we must be thinking about it. Must be thinking about the control. Yep, 
there it is. So it just drops Ray. It was nicely done. I think that, or I, I don't know what's in his hand, but I think that was the right play. Turn off that automatic two damage. All right, now it's a game here. All right, drop to reroll, picks them all up. Yeah, I don't know that I'd have picked up the one. All right, Chirpa coming out for one more. Drop to reroll, looking for melee here. There he gets some. So that's a dead Ewok right there, assuming, of course. Oh, yep, yeah, hasty, give control of the battlefield to remove it. Nathaniel has to pitch to reroll here. Ooh, that's a low probability. Gets it. Two for strength and numbers to send three across the table. Takes it and then drops the warrior. And now Chirpa is really best for the remaining glider attack. All right, there's a claim, deals an indirect. One across. Oh, man, this is close. This is real close. All right, what's that card he has in his hand? Draw. Oh, oh I think it's a draw closer. I was thinking it was a cross guard and he should overwrite it, but... All right, now Derek does have Battlefield, so that's worth one damage on the Hoth Trooper, or via the Hoth Trooper. We do have a laser tripwire in his hand. Yep, sends one across the table. All right, Luke's Protection. Ooh, that's going to be good for recycling shields. There's the tripwire comes down. So now if, if he rolls in and rolls two damage sides, he's going to pop that and take indirect. Yep, so he'll put Luke's back on top, take the shield. All right, Chirpa with the focus, which is not very useful. Motives for sticks. So do note Nathaniel does not have his money on the board. He didn't take his two round, two resources. All right, there's a pitch to re-roll. He dropped the chain lightning. All right, here comes Kylo. Let's see what he can do. All right, there's two. Did not trip the wire. Should be able to kill the host to the delay here. Oh, interesting. Diplo. I mean, I think you still kill him. Yeah, it kills him. I think Kylo, I think K Dog's going to pull this out. It's going to be close. All right, drops to re-roll, throws his dice at Nathaniel, gets the resource. All right, drop to re-roll. All right, leaves it out there hoping for sticks. Okay, pitching a Taru strike instead. Picked up the adapt. Got it. But Derek's got to have removal, right? Nope, does not. Takes a resource. That'll be worth three. Yep, three. So only uh, so that's four damage with only three health remaining on Chirpa. The, so Nathaniel not taking his resources this round could potentially be a big deal on a rig detonation, right? Okay, so Derek's going to claim he does deal the indirect to deal one 
unblockable, so it goes under. So five health remaining. So that that's actually really big because the the two resources. So Nathaniel will potentially go into this next round with four resources. Um, and if Derek could somehow make him take the battlefield, he could uh, mess him up pretty good here. But let's see. He probably has another tripwire in his deck. If he drops another tripwire, Nathaniel could walk into it. But how about I shut up and we just see what happens. So we don't have resources out there again. I think neither one of these guys took resources this round. Okay, ammo reserve. Yeah, there he here. Yeah, he went to pay and realized he didn't take his resources. So it really is just going to boil down to this. I think there's a glider attack in Derek's hand as well. All right, yep, so Kylo just trips it. So he'll take two net, take one off the shield. Derek's not going to miss a bead. He's going to throw an ammo reserve across the table, I would think, here. Um, glider attack. All right, so will they catch that? Oh, man. Nathaniel had resources. He just didn't take them. So, all right, they shook. Ewoks take it down. Uh, that's... Yep, that's on that's on both players. So, all right, thank you, gentlemen. If you like what we're doing here on the Dice Commando channel, please show your support with a like and a subscribe. Please remember to keep all comments civil and constructive, and to help us continue to grow this amazing community. Thank you for watching Dice Commando. Hey guys, this is Daniel. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching Dice Commando. Uh, make sure to give a like and subscribe, and go Commando.